weeks. I have a tutorial for you guys today because I know you all have been asking for one and I haven't done a tutorial in a while because they take a lot longer to film and I've just been so crazy busy this summer. But I did this look on Snapchat and I had so many of you guys requesting it. I was like, okay, I have to do a tutorial for this look. Anyways, ladies with me today, she wanted to say hi. Say hi, guys. She always has to like sniff my... You like my coffee? Do you see what she does? She always sips my breath. She's like, mmm, coffee. Can I have some? Look how big she's getting. Ah, <laughs> uh, say hi. Oh. Uh, anyways, <laughs> this is the tutorial, you guys. So let's get started on this look. All right, guys, so I know I have this eye started. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little nervous to film this today because it's been forever since I filmed a tutorial. Tutorials for me, they take a little bit longer and, and I just have not had time. So now that I finally get to do a tutorial on this look, I'm like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> Anyways, I did do my face makeup just because there's going to be a lot of detail. And you guys, I'm using a lot of shadows for this look. Just so you know, there's a lot going on. So bear with me. So I have my face makeup on. So anyways, all right, take some sort of crease brush. We're going to start with the crease first before I start doing the purple just to kind of set it. And I put a paint pot down, the MAC Painterly. It's my ride or die primer. I'm going to go in with Mango Tangle. And we're just going to put this in the crease to get the color started. I don't know if you guys can hear my neighbor's music. She knew I was filming today and she's like, oh yes, I'm gonna play or I'm gonna turn up my music real loud today. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay, same brush. Now we're gonna go in with an, one of the new shadows. It's called Early Bird, you guys. I'm already stuttering. I haven't gotten through all my coffee today. I think that's what my problem is. I'm like not functioning properly. <laughs> All right, so Early Bird is a really rich, warm um, orange color. It's just a little bit darker than Chickadee. We're going to put this in the crease as well to almost make like a corally pink color. And then same brush, we're going to go on the Beaches and Cream and just highlight it. This is just to get our base color started. Buff that out. Okay, now I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Eyeliner, the Full Spectrum one in Royal. And we're just going to put this in the outer corner of the eye. I almost went to the other eye. You guys, I'm such a hot mess today. Did you see that? I started to do this. I was like, oh wait, that one's done. Let's do this one. <laughs> I'm so rusty. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, we're going to put this on the outer part of the eye. Just out here to get a base purple started so there's more dimension. So just smudge a little bit of that out here and you can also put a little bit under the eye too if you want it darker all right so now i'm going to take some sort of dome brush and i'm going to go in with taboo and it's a dark purple we're going to kind of smudge out that liner hold on i need my mirror can't see what doo doo today okay so do you see how i'm kind of buffing out that liner just to add some depth and dimension you can also put a little bit here in the inner tear duct i don't usually like doing this technique on me because it makes me look cross-eyed almost i can't put too much dark in the center because literally i look like i'm cross-eyed so anyways i wanted to do a new technique for you so i don't do the same stuff all the time okay now take that same brush or you can go with one a little bit bigger do you guys see the brush difference here? This is an IT Cosmetics brush, airbrush number 124. It's an amazing brush. I really like that one. Okay, I'm going to go with Fashion Addict. And now we're going to sweep it inwards a little bit more. Fashion Addict's a really pretty kind of purpley pink. Same thing, inner corner. Put some of that in here and blend it inwards. You're gonna leave the center of your lid blank for that pop of shine a little bit later. Okay, go back in with Taboo, you guys, just to kind of darken the outer corner a little bit more. With this technique, it's just a matter of going back and forth between colors to blend it out. So you get a really smooth transition from dark into light and then that pop of shine in the center. Now we're gonna do Fashion Addict and smudge that underneath that. Okay, now you can take Mango Tango and put this just underneath. Do you see how we're kind of doing a layer, smoking out that bottom lash line? So it's like Taboo, which is a dark purple fashion addict, Mango Tango. There we go. <laughs> okay, now take that small dome brush. and We're going to go with a, one of the new foils. It's called Nostalgic. It's a really pretty light pink, but it's different from, here I'll show you, from Whimsical. Whimsical is a little bit more icy. Do you guys see the difference? So here's... 
whimsical. Here's nostalgic. Nostalgic's a little bit darker, a little bit warmer. So we're going to take that. But if you don't want to buy this one, you can just use whimsical. It's fine. Put this in the inner tear jug just to kind of pop it open so that dark color doesn't make you look cross-eyed like it does with me. <laughs> okay, now comes the fun part, you guys. This is where you can put any dual chrome you want on the lid. Mood ring, sugar rush, kaleidoscope. I'm using kaleidoscope because it's a quadrochrome, which means it reflects all sorts of colors. I don't know. Can you guys see it? Is it reflecting? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a flat stiff brush and kaleidoscope. You can use the press version if you got your hands on one. We will be bringing those back after the holidays, I promise. We're trying to get through a bunch of other stuff. Um, but if not, you can definitely use the loose one. They both are the same color. So what I'm going to do is put this just on the center of the lid. Just patting that on. And because it is really potent, what we can do after you do that is go back in with the um, that brush and Fashion Addict and then touch up the pink and start to sweep it inwards just so there's not a harsh line in the center of the lid. Okay, my eyes are seriously watering at this point. This eye, does it ever happen to you guys where you get allergies or something? I don't know if it's the air in Sacramento or what's going on, but it's watering. I'm giving my eyes a pep talk. I'm like, stop watering. Stop it. You're going to mess up my look. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take the Immortal Gel Liner, the dark black one, and the Bent uh, Liner Brush. Had a brain fart. Just line the upper lash line. We're going to do just a little wing. I don't want it too much of a wing because I want the focus to be on the halo technique where that pop of um, color in the center of the lid. So just line the lash line. Okay, now you guys can take your eyeliner pencil and you can dip it into the black gel liner. And we're just going to line the water line just to kind of ground everything and make it a little bit darker. So put this in the water line. Okay, now we're going to brighten up under the eyes again. Sorry about my neighbor's music. She literally just turned it up louder. I'm like, are you deaf? Can you not hear that music? I can hear it all the way over here. All right, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's the one number 20. And what I like to do is just brighten up under the eyes and kind of clean it up. So I do a little sweep like that. And then I take a dome brush like this. This is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Concealer. And we're going to sweep this out. And then what I like to do to brighten a little bit, I say I take white eyes. I, I take white eyes. I can't speak. <laughs> I put this under just to brighten it and set it. I like doing um, powder to brighten under the eyes instead of just using a cream. I feel like it looks a little bit softer and a little bit more natural. You want something that's just a couple shades lighter than your skin and come up here on the top of the cheekbone. And that'll give you that really highlighted look. Okay, now it's up to you guys if you want to do lashes or not. I know I have lash extensions on. Honey Badger doesn't care. She's going to put more on because you can never have enough lashes. <laughs> I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies. I got the four pack from Target. Target. Hey. All right, so we're going to put these suckers on. And you guys know how to do lashes. If not, Google that shiznit. You will find it somewhere on YouTube. Okay, whew, we made it through the eyes, you guys. <laughs> Let me show you what I do for my cheeks every day. I actually use a cream contour that's going to come out not until next February. I'm not going to show it because that's just cruel. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's what I did to start. And then what I like to do is set it with one of our contours. I use the Porcelain Warm, even though I'm not really porcelain right now. These are very pigmented. So if you guys aren't sure what color to get, get the one that's lighter than what you think. Like if you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm feeling or medium get the fair because they'll it'll still work so anyways I take the angled foundation brush and I take the porcelain warm and what I do is I just contour slightly underneath I like using the warm during the summer because it gives me warmth <laughs> obviously and I bring it up a little bit and I almost use it as like a um, blush slash contour if that makes sense so put some of that on and then I'll show you guys one of the new highlighters. I don't know what the name of it is yet. I'll have to look it up, but it's the peachy one. Again, ignore my janky Z palette with my stuff in it. Do you see how much I use my cream contours and blushes and highlighter? It's all here in my everyday kit. So anyways, hold on. Let me pull out my cheek highlighter brush. Do, do, do. Ooh, wait, not that one. Where's it at? There we go. Oh, cheek highlighter brush. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the peachy highlighter that's going to launch soon. Um, again, to be named, look for the peach one. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay. What? 
Look how beautiful. Do you see the shine? Yes. So we're just gonna put this on the top of the cheekbones. This one's one of my favorite colors. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? What? Are you guys blinded now? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tease one more product. Let me take out this hair thing before it crimps up my hair. Because I worked very hard to get my straight, shiny hair today. Hold on. All right, so the lip gloss I'm going to show you guys comes out in November. It's a foil lip gloss. Again, I don't have the color name. It is this one. I'm not going to show you. This is not the package, but it's the rosy brown color. So when they come out, look for the rose colored one. Let me show you guys. Do you hear Lady snoring right now? She's sitting at my feet and she's snoring. Cause she knows I'm recording. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? It's our foiled lip glosses. They are so amazing. We have 10 colors coming out for this set. You guys, November, I told you it's gonna be epic. This is just one formula. And there you go. Voila! You have your very glamorous purple and coral look. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I still love doing tutorials for you. I am so sorry that I was uh, a little rusty today, but I got my coffee. I'm all good now. So <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.